What's going on, YouTube? Uh, Can Canelo again. Canelo, I mean, he's hot, man. He's hot. He's hot, okay? He's got a lot of stuff going on. You know, he's got the, he, he does settle the lawsuit and stuff like that with uh, Ulysses Solis. I'm going to pronounce his name right. I believe I'm pronouncing his name, his name right, you know? So, Saul Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, I guess he won't be fighting GGG right away. You know, I just read an article that um, he's not doing a catch weight thing, which is good. I read it on the, the Sweet Science. Yeah, it was like posted like two days ago. When was that posted? December fifteenth, two thousand fifteen. If I remember, I'll, I'll post a link below, and y'all can read it for you. You know, for yourselves. Um, it's good to read some of these boxing articles, man. I know a lot of people like to listen to the YouTube videos and the commentary and stuff like that, but it's good to go ahead and read for yourself because I don't think everybody gets it right all the time. You know, on the last video, you saw me messing up. I was saying Ulysses Solis was fighting, had fought Manny Pacquiao, and that wasn't even him. It was his brother. But I was close, though. It was Solis. I remember that. It was somebody named Solis Fall Pack. Yeah, I was close, but, you know, close don't count. So I got my facts right. But uh, go ahead and read the article uh, yourself from The Sweet Science. I think I also saw it on my Bleacher app. Go ahead and get that Bleacher app, man, if you like to, you know, keep up to date what's going on in boxing, man. Because so, it, it's better that way because you got all these sites, and it's pretty much, like, gathers all these stories up from, like, ESPN, um, who else, um, Bad Left Hook, and then, you know, Bleacher Reports, they had some guys that, you know, write some articles, uh, you know, themselves, but pretty much it's just, uh, I think it's like the, something like RS feed or something like that, anyway, it pulls like a lot of, uh, of the box of articles and filters it all into the, the one app, that's why I like the Bleacher app. But long story short, man, Canelo Alvarez is dropping that whole catchweight thing and going up to one uh, sixty to fight. Um, I, I mean, he's not going up, but you, you get what I'm saying. He's he he's not going to try to weight drain Gennady Golovkin. And I, but here's the whole thing: Suleiman, the, from the, w, the president of the WBC, has granted. <sighs> he says he you know he. I, I guess he granted both of these guys like a, a tune up fight. So, and, and they want them to work out, you know, uh, like stipulations and like the contracts and the negotiation and all the other stuff. It's like, you know, just go on a fight, man. You know what I'm saying? GGG is the mandatory. You know, you the champion. You know, GGG doesn't have any like leverage as far. I mean, hell, I would have done the catch weight thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He doesn't have no leverage, so you gave him the whole catch weight thing. So I mean, he wants to fight you. Hell, he was wasn't he talking about coming down to 154 to fight Mayweather or something like that? Come on, you know. Excuse me, you know. You know, let's let's go ahead. You know, let's speed up the process and things. You know, uh, champion gets like sixty percent. Hell, he can get eighty percent. You know, he's uh, I mean, he's the pay per view star. You know, so Canelo's the pay per view star. You know, and I'm not a big fan of Canelo. Uh, nobody's a big fan of GGG, based on his last pay per view. I mean, you got a lot of people that you know, uh, I guess, adore him. You know, he got his fanboys, you know, his fanatics, you know. I don't say fanboy is a bad thing because I'm just saying you got a lot of dudes that like hyping them up, you know, they like really on them, but everybody ain't feeling them just based on the pay-per-view numbers. Hell, um, I think him and Mosley had the worst pay-per-view, pay-per-view numbers for the whole year. So, um, you know, with that being said, um... This fight can happen, like you know. And it's, what's messed up is, man. You know, they they, they get an in between fight. So, they, uh, to to be honest, man, I'm hoping one of them lose. 
if not both of them. And I know that's not the right thing to say, but I'm hoping that Canelo gets beat up. Yeah, I hope he gets beat up. I hope he just goes go ahead and one sixty. You know, he picks an opponent, the, the you know the wrong one, because you can. I wouldn't say he's been cherry picking, but he's been. I mean, look at Miguel Cotto, uh, Cotto uh, scorecards, man. You know, Austin Trout scorecards. You know, the uh, um, the Laura scorecards. Some of these scorecards are like, well, to me, in my opinion, if Canelo even was like knocked down in the fight, all he had to do was stand up through the whole fight. Look at the Mayweather scorecard. You know, he's, and then you got a lot of people who. Um, who are from Mexico, who you know, who are you know, are Mexican and stuff like that. Even Mexican Americans, you know, born and raised in the United States of America, you know, who you know, who are proud, you know, of uh, uh, you know, a lot of the Mexican fighters, guys that come out of Mexico and stuff like that, and you know, proud proud of their heritage and stuff like that. But I think they 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 get it. They you know, a lot of these guys get it. You know, I um. You know, I spoke, you know, you, I mean, you, you, I mean, you see the comments and stuff like that on YouTube. And I want to believe I spoke to uh, someone who mentioned something about, you know, him just looking white. You know what I'm saying? And him being like, like, just he, he's getting all this pub because his skin color. And you have a lot of people, you know, you know, dark skin and you know, Hispanics, you know, Mexicans in particular, like saying like, hey, you know, you know, uh, certain fighters, you know, coming out of Mexico, they're like darker skin, they ain't getting all this pub, you know, why is he getting all this pub and stuff like that. And it looks like he's being protected, especially he was able to do his catchweight thing, I don't know, like five different times already. You know, so I just, uh, you know, we just, just bring that point out because I think a lot of people are catching on a lot. They they ain't hip, you know. A lot of people ain't hip on it. I mean, I mean, I mean, they they hip, but they're not they're not buying it. You know, the whole Canelo thing, and you know, it's like, man, why is this? What you know? What you know? What's the rave about him? You know, you know what what's make him so special? And they see it. They see it. You know, they see like the disadvantage because. You know they ain't they they not as light skin they not as fair skin as Canelo, and they seem like oh well, this is Canelo Alvarez and a lot of people like all those rave and stuff like that. A lot of this is women, cause the uh, same thing with De La Hoya, not, not not the same thing. You know De La Hoya was the golden boy. He, he was pretty much like the pretty boy. You say you know Floyd Mayweather was a pretty boy, but no, it was like De La Hoya. A lot of his pay per view sales. You know, with the HBO uh, subscription and stuff like that, came from women. I think almost like fifty percent, man, of his fan base was like women. And if it was a man who was like uh, paying for like the, uh, you know, the uh, cable subscription, it it was probably his wife, his girlfriend, telling him to to order the fight. So we could put that forty or fifty percent. We could probably put it like seventy percent because I walked uh, a lot of guys. You know, like saying, "Oh man, De La Hoya, You know, he you know, forget De La Hoya, You know, he ain't no real man and stuff like that. They, they, they weren't really feeling De La Hoya from my understanding. You know, speaking with other people who are from Mexico and stuff like that. You know, you, you know, that's what you do. You know, what I'm saying that's what I do. You know, I talk to other people who you know other uh you know ethnic backgrounds and stuff like that, and you know, especially like. You know, dudes come from Mexico. I try to figure, you know, try to like, hey, how you feel about this dude? Like, what's going on? And that's the only way you learn about different cultures and stuff like that. And then, you know, you know, I break bread with a lot of dudes. And, like, you know, I, you know, you know, drank with a lot of, you know, guys who are, you know, of a different background. So, anyway. So, um, I'm not just, just saying this based on, like, my opinion or Something I read, you know, I, you know, I talk to people, you know, so I get out the house, you know what I'm saying? 
and get out the neighborhood. <laughs> Long story short, I get out the neighborhood. I know what I'm talking about. And I know what I hear because we, you know, we talk boxing. You know, I talk boxing with some guys and they be like, oh, yeah, you know, he's just doing that because you know, he, he looked white or something like that. So, anyway, and GJG, man, you know, yeah, man, uh, if you fight Torino Johnson, I, I wish the best for, for, for you know, Torino Johnson. I, I'm rooting for him. And I just hope, you know, so someone, you know, beats these guys because the thing is the fight should be happening next year in the first like four you know, four or five months. For, for, you know, uh, you know, if if not May, June, it should be happening. But no, they want us to wait till like what, November of next year? Come on now. That's a whole other another twelve months almost. But it's whatever, man. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you, do, uh, I mean do you want the fight to happen now? Can it wait? Do you want it to build up and all this other stuff? I, I don't think it needs to be built up. It, both of these guys are on pay per view. Everybody, these both of these guys held belts. Everybody knows who they are. You know who? who I mean, who are you gonna build, build it up for? Exactly. Canelo almost did. Well, Cotto almost did like a million pay per views. He's fighting Gennady Golovkin. You know, go ahead and, and do the darn thing. So, are, are you guys rooting for any of these guys to, like, get knocked out in this so-called, like, these tune-up fights they're supposed to have that Suleiman, Suleiman with the WBC ordered? All right, man. I'm done. I'm done. Let me know what you uh think. Thanks for listening. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.